Hey guys, this is your boy Beta Ray Bill, and today I have another review on a palm, but it's not this palm. It's this Palm Tuscan X or the Palm TX. Um, as you can see here, it's a big improvement from my recent palm that you just seen, and I just bought this for two ninety nine. That's three hundred dollars. Um. I got it online at palm.com, uh, and let's get a good review out of this thing. All right, before we start, I'm just going to show you the buttons around the Palm TX. You have your home key, your time and date key, a, a five-way D-pad with a selection key in the middle, um, contacts, and web browser. Yes, it does have a web browser that they call the Blazer. There's nothing along the sides. On this side is a stylus slot. At the bottom is the charger and data connector cable slot. At the top is an SD card and visible infrared, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and power button. Okay, as you can also see is that this has an amazingly large screen. I'm just going to compare it to my other Palm Pilot. Yeah, that's big. That is real big. And by the way, this is going on sale. I'm selling this. This is a Palm Zire 72. Has a 1.2 megapixel camera, voice recorder, all the stuff a Palm would have. And it's a pretty nice conditioned Palm. There's no scratches on it. It has a nice stylus, which is not in there. Uh, here's the stylus right here. But let's get to the back to the Palm TX. Okay, um, I was kind of surprised with this TX is because uh, now the TX is in a different color. I thought the Palm TX was going to be black, but as you can see, it's like kind of a navy blue. It's kind of navy blue. Okay, let's get started. One of the things I got for my Palm was this nice case. cost $25. has like suede in the inside. And I got this dock that was ten dollars. All right, let's go. To turn on the palm, you simply press this button at the top. And it comes on. As you can see, it has a really large, bright screen. And right now, I'm at the favorite home screen. All right, let's tell you some of the things that's on the Palm Check. You have Bluetooth. 1.1, that's the old version of Bluetooth, but it's still Bluetooth. You can still send pictures, send music, send apps through Bluetooth. And But you now also have, can't see that, but you also have Wi-Fi. Yes, it's Wi-Fi on this, just like the um, Live Drive. I was thinking about getting that, but I didn't. I got this instead. You also got 128 megabytes but you can only use 100 megabytes or you can add an SD card only up to 2 gigs that was a disappointment you can't add 4 gigs only 2 gigs Palm needs to improve on that it has all your basic apps that comes on the Palm it has music, pocket tunes we're gonna go to that it has pocket tunes already on it that's pretty good has all these documents that's like documents to go has word Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint and Word to Go. That's really good if you're a business type person. I use this for school and for entertainment. But this also has something on it that the iPhone has on it and that's landscape. Yes, this palm has a landscape view. One of many palms to do that. There's only a handful of palms that does that. You have the TX, the Life Drive, the T5, and there's another one. I don't know if it's the T3 or what it is, but it's only a little bit of palm pilots that actually go on landscape, and that's pretty unique. Okay, we're going to connect to Wi-Fi to show you the Internet. Oops, wrong thing. To show you the internet on this, sorry. Okay, we're back on. We're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. Very simple, very affordable. That's why they say it's affordable Wi-Fi. 
See how I'm connecting Ray Bill's PS3? That's my own Wi-Fi that I have in my house. Well, not my house, my family's house. All right, and you can simply press this key right here to connect to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is really fast on this, depending on how your signal is. As you can see, oh crap, you can't see it. Sorry for the camera. This is on my T-Mobile Nokia 5610 Music Express phone. Internet on this is really fast, and you can view it in landscape. I really like this in landscape, because it gives you the whole thing. So that's the internet and stuff on the TX. As you can see on the Palm Zai 72, that has this kind of touch screen shortcut keys on the screen. They're not actual buttons, but they're touch sensitive. So may I ask, why is that not on the TX? Well, it is. It's just a virtual touch screen um, key, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you it. As you can see, there's nothing along the bottom, but if you press this button to your far right corner at the bottom, it actually has a virtual one. See? It's very identical. See, got the home. But the thing with this, you can actually change them to whatever you want. See? Pretty cool. It's pretty neat, pretty different, really cool, really nice. All right, before I end the video, I'm going to tell you some of the apps that I have up there. I have Google Maps. I just got this, so I don't have that many. I have Google Maps, Explorer, um, this attic that came on the Palm, um, Aim, Bejeweled, Explorer, like I said before, Kinoma, Kinoma, I think so, Kinoma, Hand Paint, Bowling, Resco View, Sprint TV, and Wind Launcher, which is a kind of fake Windows XP style application. It's pretty neat. And I also have an iPhone app up here. I can't find it. It's called iPhone Emulator. You can look that up on Google. iPhone Emulator for the Palm OS. And yeah. Okay, that's my review on the Palm TX. Um, stay tuned for more videos on the Palm TX, and also, if anybody's interested in buying this beautiful, well-conditioned Palm Zaya 72, you can just contact me at my email address that will be in the description on your right, and yeah, thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, and go pick up Iron Man, now on DVD, deuces.